2012 will go down as one of the most important years in British history. As London prepares to host the Olympic Games, an air of nervous excitement is building in every walk of life. There's no better example than here at the studios of designers Fyodor Golan. Being a, a part of London and being a British brand, it's these days is, is all about the choice. It's not necessarily that you were born in London, it's, it's you chose to be here. That's, that's what makes you a Londoner. Uh, you just love to be here, you, you want to be a part of that whole crazy energy and creativity that's going on. The whole world is looking into London for what's going to come next. As the winners of Fashion Fringe, a project to nurture new design talent in London, and judged by, among others, Claudia Schiffer, Theodore Golan now face the most important moment in their career so far, their debut show at London Fashion Week. As with an Olympic athlete, thorough preparation, attention to detail, and an unshakable self-confidence are critical. When your moment comes, will you be ready? We have a huge interest for, from international press, and, and there's a lot of focus going to be on this show. Um, and we're just hoping that everyone will like it. The whole of the UK sees 2012 as a once in a lifetime opportunity to show the world what makes Britain great. And the fashion industry is playing its part. Stella McCartney has designed the athlete's kit for Team GB and she's also created a limited edition range of fanware. While Victoria Beckham has been appointed as an ambassador for Britain's great campaign in this Olympic year. The fashion industry contributes £20 billion a year to the UK economy and has played a pivotal role in British culture for centuries. But it was in the 1960s that a swinging London earned its place on the international fashion map. That sense of freedom and creativity still forms the foundation of what is great about British fashion today. The impact of social networking can now be seen bringing affordable fashion into focus. Style blogger Liberty London Girl takes us on a tour of the British fashion hotspot of Shoreditch. I spend quite a lot of time in stores and out and about in London, just looking for things that interest me that I know my readers will like, like for example these handbags. I could come in here, take a photograph on my iPhone, write a blog about it at lunchtime, and a reader could walk in here after work and buy it the same day. And for me, that immediacy is a great thing about blogging. You really have to hunt in shops like this, but the hunting is absolutely part of the thrill of the shop. See, finding pieces like this is always great. There was a lot of 1920s clothing on the runway for spring summer, and here, for not very much money at all, we've got the drop waist and frills of a typical 20s dress. And that's why we love shopping in vintage in London. As London Fashion Week arrives, there's a perfect opportunity to find out why the UK has earned its international reputation and what is being done to ensure the future success of British designers. I think that we are very much on a global stage. Uh, I think that we will always be leaders um, and it's good to see at times when I see major international global brands having followed um, what we create and start here through our designers in the UK. This year we're um, doing something called Britain Creates where fashion designers team up with other really creative Londoners creating pieces of art which basically represent Olympic values and I think it would be a very exciting project. Mary Katranzu, who has been nurtured by the British Fashion Council, is taking part in Britain Creates 2012. She is now one of London's most sought-after design talents. Her bold prints have won her international acclaim and her 2012 show was one of the hottest tickets at London Fashion Week. London, I think, is really important to kind of give you that inspiration that you need and also that creative challenge between your peers. There's so many designers creating interesting things that you are constantly inspired by what you see around you and it's such a cultural hub of, you know, different people um, and different people culturally and creatively. I think it's constant inspiration for you. During the Games, the Britain Create 2012 project will be on display at the Victoria and Albert Museum as a highlight of the London 2012 Festival. Finally, it's time to drop back in on Theodore Golan. This is the moment they've worked for. 
buyers from the world's top fashion houses are here. It's a matter of minutes before their show. Are they on schedule? Yeah, fully ready. Fully ready. ready. Fine, yeah, just waiting for it. Now it's all in the hands of the makeup and the hair, which we have to do, so. And, uh, and it's down for the models to really rock it. All the preparations have paid off. Theodore Golan's dramatic show saw their autumn winter 2012 collection heralded as both innovative and intricate. Inspired by a narrative of Russian peasants, SARS and insects, they clearly made an impact. London Fashion Week has again successfully played host to the best design talent in the world. A foretaste of what to expect when the world's greatest sportsmen and women descend on the UK in the summer. I'll tell you what I think sums up London. It's a word I would never have used in the past. We have verve. And that means spirit and courage and the originality to say, we're going to do it simply because no one else has tried it. And that's what creativity is about. I think it's because London is truly brave when it comes to fashion. You know, there's something incredibly avant-garde about the way that we put ourselves together. There's a sense of humour in the way that we dress. But what I love most about London Fashion Week is that it's not just on the catwalk that you get your inspiration. It's actually street style. The people here are fearless, they're cutting edge, and it's exciting. It's a very exciting place to be. The atmosphere here is amazing. I think London definitely is the capital of fashion. I think certainly out of all of the sort of London fashion meets that we have, I think that London is the most sort of exciting and dynamic and innovative and we've got so many fresh young designers and so many brilliant schools like St Martin's where they all train and learn and yeah I think London, it's a very exciting time for London, it's up and coming and it's exciting and I'm really really happy to be a part of it. <laughs>